thank you so much for joining us. We have Matt Leisinger here, the CEO of Alluvial, and he's here to talk about enterprise grade liquid staking and launching their new protocol. Matt, Matt, tell me, first of all, what is Alluvial? Yeah, that's, that's a good question. So uh, Alluvial is the uh, operating company that is launching the Liquid Collective. This is an enterprise grade liquid staking standard um, that we're essentially launching over the course of Q4. And so uh, we've, we've uh, you know, had big news yesterday where we launched this collective and it's got broad support from a number of industry participants, Kraken, Coinbase, Figment, uh, Kiln, among others, and so super excited to, to talk about it today. Kraken and Coinbase, you got congratulations, Thanks. first and foremost. Thanks. So Matt, um, could you tell me, what, what is what is liquid staking? Break it down to me like I'm five, okay? Yeah, yeah of course. So I guess first, we could talk about what staking is, okay. right? And so level setting on what staking is, um, Staking allows uh, anyone in the ecosystem, any token holder, to lock their tokens in the network and participate in the security of blockchains. And so this differs from proof of work um, protocols like Bitcoin uh, that use miners to mine transactions. And so uh, staking is actually where you lock your tokens in the protocol and by doing so, uh, you're rewarded with staking rewards. And so liquid staking allows you to lock your tokens up because generally what happens with staking is you're subject to what's called an unbonding time of between 2 and 28 days so you don't have liquidity of your tokens um, and so what liquid staking does is it, it levels up on that promise you essentially are able to stake your tokens and you get a receipt token back and this allows you to take your receipt token and use your collateral um, and so how I would explain it, kind of like the, you know, the explain like I'm five scenario, is essentially it's like a coat check, right? So with, with a coat check, um, you're able to give your coat to the coat check and they give you a receipt. This receipt token is like exactly like that. And so you can move about and uh, utilize that in DeFi. Um, and so it really mobilizes your, your staked asset collateral, which has a number of use cases. All right. So, so why, why is this important? Why do we need liquid staking? Absolutely. So I think with a uh, number of institutions entering the space, I think we're seeing that with, uh, you know, we just saw BlackRock uh, entering uh, the crypto space and NASDAQ yesterday. Uh, the need for liquidity, a lot of these institutions require liquidity. They're used to that in liquid capital markets. And so with staking, you want to be able to get the rewards of staking. You want folks to secure the network. In fact, our vision is that we want to have global participation in securing blockchains. One of the ways that we do that is by offering liquid staking. So institutions are going to require this liquidity. And the way that you do that is by offering this token that allows their staked asset collateral to be mobile. Um, and what we've seen so far is there hasn't been an enterprise grade standard established that allows institutions to interact with liquid staking protocols. And so you haven't seen this yet. Well, how did you find this gap? That, you know, like how did you find the gap that this, there's a need for this? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. So formerly I was at Figment, which is a staking provider. And um, you know, I, I, I came onto Figment looking at different products that we could offer on our core staking business. And so as a product manager doing a ton of discovery work on, on what, we could, uh, what we could offer, I kept running into this unbonding time, this two and 28 day wait period. And I said, you know, that's, that's something that institutions are uh, probably not gonna be okay with operationally. It's just something that represents an impediment to this really scaling, to, 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 to really gain, again, this global participation in securing blockchains. And so I thought, well, I think uh, we, need, we need to solve this before we can offer any product on top of this. And so we looked at really innovative crypto native solutions that existed at the time. For example, Lido uh, has seen a ton of growth. Uh, but from a security and compliance standard, there, there's a higher bar uh, that institutions have to interact, right? There's a validator set behind the liquid staking protocol that generates the rewards. And so we thought it's best to start with one of the, you know, one of, some of the best staking providers in the ecosystem. And so our validator set is made up of Figment, Coinbase Cloud, and Staked. 
uh, some of the some of the best staking providers in the space. And so, you know, we uh, we started there and thought that. Um, we really have to raise the bar from a compliance and security perspective, and then we can offer this uh, to institutional customers. So, so how, is this, how is it different from liquid staking on exchanges and for retail investors? Yeah, it's a great question. So um, we saw that the, the market for liquid staking, it, it was fragmenting into more crypto native solutions that didn't meet the compliance standards and, and security standards uh, of institutions. And then institutionally focused uh, staking uh, products that uh, really, you know, they met that bar, but they were really fragmented in the way that they offered it. And uh, essentially what we saw was a, a way to bring uh, the institutional solutions into a decentralized uh, crypto native way. And so what we're doing is with the Liquid Collective, we're launching a protocol. Um, and so this protocol is going to be uh, again, a decentralized protocol where we'll have on-ramps from each of these integrators, both Coinbase and Kraken, uh, as well as Figment. What do you expect for the volume? Yeah, that's a good question. I think right now we're still pre-launch, um, and so I think one of the things that we're seeing is that if you look at the market uh, for, for liquid staking and staking in general, uh, we're going to launch on Ethereum first. and. The market for liquid staking is, uh, there's a ton of room to grow. That said, it's, it's grown 30x over the course of this year. We expect that growth to continue. Um, in a way, it's grown 30x in a, in a bear market over the course of this year? Yeah, so we've seen, we've seen a ton of growth over the last uh, in, you know, 12 to 18 months. Okay. And so this is really from its infancy uh, uh, grown, grown a ton. But, even with that, only about 10 to 11 percent of Ethereum is staked right now. So if you think about that, there's a lot of opportunity uh, for both staking and, and especially liquid staking, which we feel is, is one of the better forms of staking uh, to, to grow into the future. And we, so we expect to, to capture a lot of that share. All right. And what blockchains are going to be supported? Good question. So we'll, we'll, our focus is Ethereum. As I, as I mentioned, it's a, it's a huge opportunity. And the merge which happened last week was a huge catalyst. And, and so with the merge um, where we transferred from proof of work to proof of stake, uh, the rewards for end users will be higher. And so we're focused on Ethereum right now, but we look to expand into both Polkadot and Avalanche. And so we're partnered with a few different teams. This is part of our native chain uh, strategy where we scale across to other blockchains uh, by working with uh, teams that already exist. And so we're partnered with Akala to build out the liquid staking on Polkadot and Rome Blockchain Labs to offer uh, liquid staking on Avalanche. What do you see in Polkadot and AVAX or Avalanche? What do you see in those companies? Yeah, so I think there's a lot of uh, interesting uh, attributes of, uh, of those chains that make it a great candidate for liquid staking. Um, I would say the unbonding time there, in both cases, 28 days, so that's a long time to wait uh, to, to, to unlock or to unbond from your, your staked position. And so to have instant access, to be able to sell out of your position very quickly is going to be really important on those chains. Also, I think we've seen some adoption uh, specifically on the institutional side uh, for both of those chains. Well, thank you so much, Matt, for agreeing to do this interview with me. Congratulations once again on your enterprise-grade liquid staking and the launch of the new protocol.